navigating within the file system. In this section, we will cover working with PS providers and PS drives, exploring file system navigation and manipulation, working with the registry keys, and identifying errors, working with PS providers and PS drives. In this video, we will cover PS providers and PS drives. PS providers provide the logic that's used to access, navigate, and edit a data store. This is why it can be similar to navigate file systems, the registries we will see, or other data stores. Think of it as a consistent standard of providing navigation and access methods. Just like you might have a corporation with multiple different departments, they are all under the same set of corporate policies. PS drives provide the entry points or doorways into data stores and use the PS providers for the standard logic. You can think of them as a shortcut to a file path, and indeed they can be just that. They can also be a shortcut to a specific location in the registry or even Active Directory. If there is a PS provider for a data store, then PS drives can be created to access that data store. One example of a data store is the registry. And when navigating the registry in PowerShell and making changes, those changes will appear in the standard registry editor that most administrators are used to. Let's look at an example. First, we'll start by creating a new item. We're going to give it a name. And we're going to create two folders at once by putting in the full path. And there's our folder inside the subfolder. Now we'll create a new item. And we'll put it inside that lower folder. And we find out our file already exists. If you run into this error and you know that the file that's already there is one that you want to overwrite, you can add the force parameter and it will write over that file. But do be careful and make sure that you do indeed want to overwrite that file. But if it already exists, the force parameter will allow you to override that. We're going to clear the screen and we'll create one more item. And this is going to be another test file that's a text file. And for our path, we will put this inside our test folder inside our examples folder. Now, if you get this error, what it's telling you here is a positional parameter cannot be found that accepts argument another test. Now you'll notice that we didn't put name as a parameter. So that's why it cannot find text input as a parameter because it's looking for a parameter there. You can hit the up arrow to repeat what you just typed, arrow back to where the error is located, and insert the necessary parameter. Now we've corrected our error and we have gotten the result that we desire. The errors in PowerShell are very intuitive and clear, and as long as you just take the time to read it, they will help guide you to the correct answer. Now we're going to use set location, which you can tab through. You can also make this faster by typing CD, which is an alias for set location. And we're going to go to that examples directory. We'll clear the screen, and we're going to use get child item. Now we see in here, under the examples folder, we have a test folder, test folder, and a test.txt file. But if we wanted to find everything that was underneath those folders included in there, we could clear the screen, repeat that same get child item, but we're going to add a parameter, and that would be recurse. Recurse is very important and it'll be used a lot. When you use recurse, it's going to not only find the child items in the directory or path that we're in, it's going to find the child items in those subfolders that are located in the area or path that we are in. Now let's look at our PS providers and see what we have to work with. We'll clear the screen and we'll PS providers. And we see we have a registry, an alias environment, and a file system, a function, and a variable. 
Now, over on the far right, you'll see drives, and these are the drives that are existing for these providers. Remember, the drives are your doorways, and you can go through those data stores because the PS providers provide that logic. So we'll get PS drive, and we'll see that we get our different drives. We've got alias C, D, and Z. Those are our file system drives. We've got env function and these could vary from machine to machine depending on what hard drives you have installed if you've got flash drives plugged in and if you may have some different modules such as active directory because it'll show up as a ps provider and a ps drive we're going to clear the screen remember what i said if a ps provider exists you can create a ps drive so we're going to do that now we're going to use the name U, and this is going to be PS Provider File System because we are mapping to a file system. Now, if you were going to map to the registry, then you would use the registry PS Provider. And then we're going to give it our path, which is root, and we're going to use the example. And you'll see it's now created us a new location. We're going to use cd dot dot. Remember, you could use set location. We're going to clear the screen. And now you can see that we can traverse over to that location simply by just changing our drive letter. We do dir. We'll see that we have the contents of that c colon slash examples folder, but we didn't have to type examples to get there. We simply had to change drive paths. This allows us to then go back, work in another area, come back to this area when we need it. So if we're administrating multiple different areas, this allows us to quickly change from one over to another.